Alright, so this box is from Bath and Body Works. I ordered online when they had, I think it was a dollar shipping. And so I got a lot of soaps and I think a few other items, but maybe it might be all soaps. So take a look. cute pattern paper inside. I've never ordered anything online from Bath and Body Works before, so let's take a look. Fresh Pick Lemon. I like the um, soaps with the antibacterial beads in them versus the foaming soap, just personal preference. And then I got Citrus Sunshine. Um, also a deep cleansing hand soap. I have not smelled this one. Um, I think there's only maybe one in their box that I've smelled before. This one I have not smelled either and um, I just kind of went off of uh, things I thought I would like since I couldn't buy them in the store at the deal that they had. The gentle foaming hand soap. I have this in a hand sanitizer and I absolutely love the smell but they did not have any in the deep cleansing hand soap so I got two of these mandarin citron I got a mediterranean lemon I don't know what the difference in the smell is but I decided the lemon is a really good fresh smell and clean so I got a couple of those I got an apple mango pink passion fruit Lemon mint leaf. I thought my boyfriend would like this one um, just because we like mint and lemon is nice smell. So. And then Tuscan melon. 10% off coupon. I'm going to open the pink box first. And I'm just, I've never ordered for them before, so I have no idea what to expect. Alright, so I open this up. This is just for you, Maven. First access to limited run colors and products, plus forty dollar or forty dollar plus value in every crave worthy box. Free shipping and twenty percent off at julep.com. Open this up, and it says fifty percent off your next purchase. And I have a little booklet here. All right, this is the nail and cuticle serum. I've never tried this before, but I look forward to checking it out. And that was it. So this is the second box that I ordered. It's called Quick Drops. I have no idea what this is. I'm going to have to open it up and look at it. This is the base coat. So this almost looks black, but I think it's a little grayish purple. It's really hard to catch the right color on this one. Um, it looks black. I thought it was black, but it's not. It's a little bit grayer. All right, and that one is reddish, but it's a little bit lighter than red. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit lighter than red. And this, I don't even know what color to call that. And this is kind of like a, maybe a taupe or a beige. It's not black, it's kind of a brownish red. It's really hard to catch this color. Um, bluish purple. Alright, so that was the entire box. Alright, so then I also went to Ikea not long ago and I bought these. They were pretty cheap. They were a couple dollars, like maybe two or three dollars. And each pack has three containers. These are kind of a really pretty, <laughs> reminded me of pink lemonade a little bit. So there's pink, yellow, and clear. And then they have the little lids that have a little, like, a little snap in the front. And I got these to organize my um, desk and possibly some jewelry supplies. I wanted to try them out to see how they were. So I got one of each. I got the blue, kind of like a greenish yellow, and then the clear ones again. I got these out to try them out just, just to see how well they would work. Um, 
I'm looking for really good organization. Um, so give them a try. They're a couple dollars each, so not a bad deal. All right, and then I got some safety pins not long ago. I can't remember where, maybe the dollar store. But um, yeah, just recently I wanted, I needed these, and I didn't have any, and uh, I was like, why don't I have these? I'm a craft person. I should have safety pins. So I bought them, but I cannot remember what I needed them for, but I'm sure I'll, it'll happen again eventually. So some little safety pins, just the regular size, and it has, oh, actually this is a variety pack. So there's a medium, and there's some, some really small ones in there. So as the dollar store, I also picked up these legal pads. Um, this is a three pack, so they just kind of pull apart. But they didn't have the large ones, which I really wanted because I like to have them on my desk and just kind of as a scratch pad for them to take notes. So I got these ones since they didn't have the other ones. I don't know if they just aren't getting them back at all. I haven't seen them in a while. So I got these. I bought more of these. I actually had four, but I started to use the blue one. So um, they're really nice little notebooks. They have a little couple pockets up front, one here, one here. And they're just little notebooks with um, lines in them. There's also a little pocket extends into here. So pretty much I've been using these to help separate different tasks. So I have one for my jewelry um, business ideas and projects that I've kind of got going on, one for this channel um, of projects I can work on and things that I'm hoping to get done and different, like kind of breaking it apart because this is new to me and I am learning. So this is one of those things. And then I also have this for um, doing research for blogging and for YouTube and all different kinds of notes. Um, I love these because of the size, but I kind of like them. And um, they had, I think, four or five different colors. These are the three, and then there was a blue one, and there might have been another color. But anyways, they're really nice, really handy, and I'm obsessed with little notebook journals just because sometimes you have ideas or you're gonna go on a, you know, a trip or something. And I'm obsessed with little notebooks, so yeah, gotta have my notebooks. When I was in Michigan, I got this book. Um, it is a drawing book for fashion. So it shows you how to draw outfits. And um, obviously I'm not a fashion major, but I wanted to be able to do uh, drawings of clothing and outfits and stuff to go with my jewelry to see if it would help inspire me to pick, uh, to draw certain, or to create certain styles of jewelry. So this book's pretty cool. Um, I haven't got a chance to actually go into it yet and start drawing, but um, I love to draw anyways, and I need practice. <laughs> and I want to be able to draw out my jewelry before I create it so that I don't waste any extra product that I need and just, you know, uh, so I have another way of sharing my designs with a potential client. So this is a project that I'm going to be working on as soon as I get done with school here. I have two weeks left. Woohoo! Almost done. So I went to Sephora and I ran into someone I went to school with. So she was really sweet, helped me out and got me some samples to try out. And it also is my birthday at the end, at the end of this month. So she got me all the, the birthday stuff that you get. So it's really nice. And it was really nice to run into her. So hi if you're out there. But um, so she got me these little samples of Murad, I think it's called. And I got two little samples. Um, one is a serum, and the other one is like a night cream. Uh, I've tried the night cream. I haven't tried the serum yet. Um, there wasn't much in there, though. So, it, and these containers are a lot harder to get out um, the product than the um, other ones. Just like a little hole at the top. It's really hard. Um, she was telling me to shake it up really good. And um, I did, and it was okay. Um, it smelled kind of citrusy, so that was nice. Um, but yeah, I might want to go back and try to get another sample of, because this one I can't get any more out of, even though there is some product in there still. So it's just really hard to get out. The Benefit Fake Up, it's a under eye, like dark circle kind of concealer. Um, it says it's hydrating crease control concealer. Um, for me, it seems to be a little too much moisture and since I don't use a setting powder I'm playing around with it to see if it'll work if not I might have to take it back in and try something else it just kind of leaves um, a kind of like a clay texture it feels like really under my eyes is where I use it for the most part and um, it probably works really well for some people but for me right now it's not working the best 
uh, it blends in with my skin tone really well, so if you have my skin tone, it's the 02 medium, which I was really surprised about. I think it's because I have a little bit more of a, a yellowy tone to my skin, I guess. But anyways, um, so yeah, I'm hoping this will work out well. But when I bought this, there was a deal going on at Sephora for all Benefit products. So you bought the Benefit products, you got a little baggie. So inside the bag, I have this, this Sephora Instant Moisturizer little packet. Um, I am not the hugest fan of these little packets, but um, like in on the little cardboard piece, and it's like a little piece. Like I love samples, but I don't really care for these because you really can't... Um, use them multiple times. I normally carry these around when I travel because I love um, the travel size for when I travel but this one is just um, when they rip open and you have nothing to put them in. Like you can put them in a plastic bag but it kind of gets everywhere but um, I'm gonna give it a try and see how it is. I have a Dolce & Gabbana perfume. I've never... I haven't worn perfume in a while actually. I've been trying to use more of the ones I have, but Dolce and Gabbana perfume, and I opened it up, and there, it's the inside, it smells pretty nice, you can smell it through the bottle, it's pretty strong, Gucci by Gucci, um, I think this is for men, it says, but uh, I'm not sure, it's in French, but I think it says pour homme, which, if I remember my French correctly, that's for men, um, kind of got that man smell. It smells kind of nice though. I probably won't wear most of these, but um, maybe Josh will. I don't know. Oh, by the way, Josh is my boyfriend in case I never mentioned his name. I think I did, but I don't know. Um, but we'll give it a try. See. All right, Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Never used Marc Jacobs products before, but we'll see. Looks nice inside. It kind of smells a little more, a little more, not flowery, but feminine maybe is what word to call it. It's a little spray. Benefit Stay Don't Stray. I've never used this before, but it's a medium deep, um, like a concealer, I guess? Like a concealer. So, yep, and it's a little bottle. Hopefully that's not too dark for my skin. Oh, I guess an update. I think I recorded I had the Sprint charger. I picked up a new one. Well, it seems to be malfunctioning. It's making weird sounds. So I have to take it back in, possibly today, to get exchanged. Hopefully they won't give me any trouble with it. Um, I kind of wasn't happy when I got a different type of charger this last time, since the other one never gave me trouble um, until it, it just eventually the cord got, I think, got damaged. But this black one, um, it looked cheaper than the white one did that I had previously. And I was like, okay, whatever. And then I brought it home. And I thought I was hearing a sound. And then I thought maybe it was just my ears because my ears ring a little bit. And then I noticed it. Like, it was really quiet in the house. And then I heard it. It was, like, making this buzzing sound. So now I have to go take it back. Um, I don't know if that means it was, it's broken or if it's just something that it does. But either way, it's annoying. And it doesn't really seem like it's secure and safe if it's making weird noises when it's plugged in um, to outlets so yep so I'm gonna go take it back in and see if I can get it a new one I picked up this dress from JCPenney's it's a cover dress for swimsuits and it's gorgeous it goes from black to gray and it's wonderful it's super comfortable I got it a little bit smaller because I am working on I'm working on toning up so I want this to fit my new body. And then I also got these pants. They're really comfortable. They have pockets. And then like that. And at the very bottom, they're fitted. So they're tighter. They're tighter around the ankle. So they're really comfortable. So yeah. I think that's it.